they immediately turned around and everyone loves the characters loves the character and now they've kind of done the same thing with luke where he's definitely a lot more popular in this game i will say that for sure at least watching luke play in this game is a lot more enjoyable and vagabond is no exception to that i've, I've been very impressed with vagabond's play at first at ceo and i know that they've been, been training a lot with one of my friends uh old dunk so that's definitely a person you want to practice with when you go to games jamie oh my goodness jb unfortunately jamie a top eight winner jamie's great I, I think Jamie is the most underrated character in this game. Jamie is very, very good. Don't, do not believe the haters and the down players that those drinks reset for a reason. Okay, that power level is is being hidden for a reason. But the early burnout you thought would have been a disastrous situation for Vagabond, but actually JB kind of coasted it out, and now three drinks with corner pressure and a confirm. Yeah, for sure. Also, whoever in chat said that Luke in Street Fighter Six is just Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, I love you. You're absolutely correct. But here we go now. JB already sitting at three drinks. That is huge and has the early life lead here on Vagabond. Vagabond fighting with their back against the corner right now. And, J and JB just oppressing. It's, again, three drinks, you're fine. Four drinks is obviously a plus and a great thing to have. But three makes J J Jamie already a nightmarish character to deal with. Okay, Vagabond says, no, nah, I'm taking taking the fight in my hands this time. Pressing forward, gets the sequence started, but JB fights right back. Oh, Whoa. baits out the EXDP as well. JB going to be able to get another drink off of this. No, opts to just go for the pressure instead of taking the drink. That is a crucial decision that JB, or excuse me, Jamie players are going to have to make on the fly as they get comfortable with this character, and I don't hate it. Corner is as important in this game. You probably already heard me mention it a thousand times. Nicely done. What reactions to the sandblast? And yeah, that was out of parry as well, right? He's going to be able to All get us. the kill there going up one. So now that we're in top eight, we are in the three out of five set. Thank God for Vagabond. That was looking really nasty from JB. JB looking like they understand this matchup. They know what to look for. Great job. You know, I, I see a lot of people do are really down on Jamie. I definitely think he's way stronger than people give him credit for. But even without the drinks on deck, standing heavy kick and drive rush heavy punch are yeah. just obnoxious tools. Very, very, very annoying to deal with. Again, another character that you have to take into the lab and actually practice against. Right now, another early burnout from JB following the Zero Blast philosophy here. And it seems like it's working out great from from what Vagabond's yeah. dealing with here. And DPing every single jump and attempt as well from Vagabond. JB right now in total control. Luke's trying to get that sort of annoying meter gameplay started, but that has not been the case. JB says, every time you want to come and press on me, I'm just going to EXDP. That's fine. I would rather do anything than deal with these arms all over me, man. But for the first time, Vagabond getting a corner sequence now. No, you cannot just let a player jump out like I'm... Um on for free, basically. There's nothing cost from Jamie there. Yeah, but here we go. He's starting to put you into the throw loop. Oh. And the shimmy! You thought it was a throw loop. Right back into it. Look at this offense with the dive kick as well. The EX dive kick to combo into the level three. This Jamie gameplay is off the chain right now. I have never seen a Jamie perform like this. JB is playing good, man. He's playing really good. He's, he's He's, he's not accepting that Luke can participate in this match <laughs> on their terms, which is weird. Usually Luke is the oppressor. Luke is someone who can be a, an annoying lockdown machine and make the match feel like it's going to go long and, and play out with these really limited options. Very, very impressive stuff from, from JB Jamie right now. Yeah, look at that. Just that command dash heavy punch, or excuse me, the driver heavy punch is so strong. It's also strong because it's a really good tool for shutting down armored moves, too, because of the multiple yeah, hits. Yeah, that's true. Uh, a lot of tools available to Jamie's kit. Oh, boy. Almost 50% life already gone from Vagabond already. Okay, throw. Gonna, gonna even this up a little bit. Hey, parry is huge here. We get another drink. Oh, we took oh, two. Baby. We held it down there oh, for the baby. double drink. Now it's time for the Drunken Fist install. Such a cool looking design when the level four activates. Love to see it. Great job from JB paying attention to get that active. You have to be wary of how much damage can be put out from, from Jamie in such a small amount of hits now. Look at him, the movement speed too. Vagabond mm -hmm. checking, doing the right thing. Nicely done, but drops the punish counter. That could have been everything, man. Absolutely. And the dive kick is so oh. strong also. And Vagabond once again falling prey to trying to go for these EX reversals. 
that's a feel bad for Vagabond right now. You're down to your last life. Yep, there's a quickie sippy as well. Getting one on deck. Which is already like huge. Just getting that one drink and equalizing the damage deficit and adding, you know, a little bit of tool to the game kit is huge. Oh my goodness, this sequence is gonna put loot all the way to the corner. I mean one drink alone and getting access to dive kick is massive. big. Yeah. Oh, Vagabond not ready for the string into the drive impact. This is going to be Are a huge dead? opportunity. No, you're not dead. The super's not going to do enough damage, and we do not have the drive rush to follow up. But so Vagabond burn out. one more opportunity. No, no burnout. Oh, but there's the throw, and that is it. What a dominating performance from JB there in top eight winner side. 500 players in this tournament, yeah. and JB is sitting in winner's finals with a character that a lot of people have been Downplay. Yeah, it's been pretty brutal to be honest. This is going to be insane. I want to see some competition now. This yeah, is going to yeah, be yeah, an yeah, insane yeah. match right now. This is big uh, unstoppable force <laughs> versus unstoppable force energy. These are both people <laughs> who don't care that drive gauge is a mechanic. Look at this. Already Sarah Blast is burnt out. Yeah, they want problems always. Ooh, that could have been really bad for Sarah Blast, but stopped at just the per perfect appropriate time. The okay. back throw right, there. Say less. Say less. All right, Burnout Wars coming in now. Already trading buttons. But now Sarah. that Sarah Blast has this meter, he's going to rush on in. Yeah, she knows. She how, knows. how do you she feel knows. about Honda and Ken? Right, I hate playing against Ken. It Honda. feels terrible, right? Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely. But you know what? You can't gen ride against Honda. All that's right? true. You can't. You can't gen ride can't, against Honda. Yeah, that's not free. But she's not doing it. No. She doesn't care. She is definitely just dumping all of this drive gauge, though, to put in the pressure. There's the EX headbutt coming out. I'm loving the way Sarah Blast is playing. But honestly, Plus is Not Real is actually mm. one of my favorite Hondas to watch recently. I hate to see it be done like this. This is not a good <laughs> feeling. I want to see Plus is Not Real getting that action going. Yes, this is what we saw earlier. Those are, We know that this Honda is capable of those offensive sequences. Got to get him started. Slow down this Sarah Blast action, but nah. Immediately shut it down with the perfect parry. Gun was ready. Off the hit. And we are ready with the throw tech there. Tries to go for the EX command grab, but it's going to get blown up for it. That's you know, feel bad. We do like the way that plus is not real is playing, but Sarah Blast probably has the most entertaining Ken I've seen. She is phenomenal right now with how crazy the offense is. And thank you, SQ, for the big raid coming Ooh. through. Great stuff tonight. Oh, big shout out to the homie SQ. Thank you so much. Look. Look, as a Honda player, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not this matchup's not fair for Honda. All right, Ken is too good. Honda's not good enough. Honda right? gotta play dirty. All right, That's gotta play dirty. I don't care what you think. I know I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the, we have the residential Honda main here. That's true. Honda in the house. Okay. Cool. Trying to get something started. Name. Yeah, it's a great one. And sneaky D coming through with the sneaky ten dollars into the match room. But we saw you. Thank you Ooh, so much. Huge opportunity with the walk up with throw. Oh. Okay, this time they were not quick enough. Zero Blast just said, I'm just going to let this rock. Big punish opportunity for Honda with the hands combo and everything on deck. Oh, you are over are the you top. Are kidding me? They got blown up for that one. I love when Honda's win, bro. <laughs> oh, no, but it's not over yet. Both of them in burnout. Zero Blast, she still has the opportunity to get out of the corner. And wow, plus it's not real. Just letting her out. There's the DP. What a reaction to the headbutt. Oh my goodness, no way they're going to Hold oh, up, they no are, way. They are still in it, bro. No but, way. Look, plus it's not real. Just just one hit, bro. Ooh. One hit. Please. <laughs> Yo, Arnett coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. How good does it feel when you get that counter hit butt slam, that punish counter? Oh, it's so, every, everything is so satisfying when you're playing as Honda, baby. The standing heavy punch, though? Look, everybody play Honda right now, okay? <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing other characters. Uh -oh. Okay, this is bad. The juggle opportunities, we've already seen this from Ken all night long. If you get that wall splat, there's a lot of damage. Really? Love it. Just drive rush into the Ocho throw. Okay, but Sarah Blast fighting back. Overdrive uppercut is good. So get off of me. Oh, yep, and there we go. That is the answer to the Dragon Lash kick. You can DI it on reaction, and Ken can't do anything about it, but kicking Honda right out of the sky there with the level one. Yo. They are trading blows right now. Do we have enough resources Ooh. on deck to make this happen? Got Michael W coming through with the big 100 into the nah, match. Arena. No, they didn't. No, they Yo, didn't. That's big, crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a huge donation to the players. Yeah, as you guys know, all the match arena does go to the players, and they're going to appreciate this for sure. We got a top eight payout, so every dollar makes a difference. Thank you so much. 
huge sure. contribution. And uh, this contribution to the Honda family right now as the uh, the, the pressure is looking very, very real. Cerro Blast, she's starting to fold a little bit in the corner. Only a barely one stock of drive meter left. That's going to be burnout. No, you had to know what's coming, man. And the stun. We get the opportunity to bless the sun there. Praise it. That's what I'm up. talking about, baby. Honda. I, look, I only came here to commentate this one Honda match. You're lying. You're no, you're, you're lying. lying. You're lying. Look, Chad will be sad if you leave. Don't I love you. Honda so much. I, I did say earlier that the design of Honda, no matter how salty you're playing against this character, it just looks great. Yeah. You know, I drive a Nissan. I'm about to go buy a Honda right now. No. I, <laughs> my no. I need that. Yo, we love Kia and Hyundai struggling out here. You watch that sumo show on Netflix? Oh, we did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that show. What's it called? Sanctuary? Yeah. I still need to watch that. Oh, but here watch we go. That. Level Ooh. three. <laughs> Taking Honda to the sky. No burnout though, just barely still hanging in there. So Sarah Blast, we don't want to try to force the situation. There it is. All right, plus frames here. Time for the strike throw mix. Jumps no. right over the level two. And Baby, Sarah what Blast. is you doing? <laughs> she ties things up 1-1 one, one here immediately into game three. That really got so tense, I think, in those last couple of rounds. That was that was an escalation of violence that we're seeing between these two players. They both want it, they both need it. Plus, not real, trying to fight their way back out of this corner. Said, I do not want to hold these strings. Please do not make this happen. The Zero Blast with that patented offense, opening things up. Oh, the whiff. That's going to be another huge one. Absolutely. Building up one bar as well. Slowing things down a little bit, right? Recognizing that once you get Honda into that position. Whoa, ah, hold up. Oh, Johnny Kilowog dropping two Hundy in. Come Yo, on. Thank you so much. That is a massive donation to the stream. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough, brother. $200? That's real cheddar. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. Yeah, that's, that, that's Wisconsin cheddar, bro. That's how real <laughs> that's it. That's all, Jesus. All the love pouring out in this match. Very fitting. Right, One of the most yeah. exciting matches so far of the night. There's the EX reversal. Ooh, answers in kind. No, wow. And that's one of the big threats. That's why you're seeing Cerebrus start to kind of slow things down a little bit, is because the threat of EX Headbutt is real for Honda. For everybody. It doesn't matter if you're the most offensive player in the game, the best character in the game. You have to respect that move. Oh, baby, we get the full charge up into the hands. Splat. Love it. And it's oh, another no. big bait opportunity, too. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to spend the level three here. Not. Oh, never mind. We do. Oh, we're definitely spending it, because we're winning it, baby. <laughs> but still has to go into the next round without it. Crushed. Crushed. Zero Blast fans in shambles right now. Come on, baby. We got Honda more fans. of that magic. We're up, baby. We're coming up. <laughs> it's oh, it's no. Jover. It's Jover for Honda. No! Oh, it's all right. We stopped things short. Zero Blast, they are able to get the throw there. Anti-air with the fireball and the butt slam just missed spaced, unfortunately. That's like, the, that's like the third version of the shimmy we've seen at Zero Blast. Nicely done. Yep, into the level three. Not quite going to burn out, plus it's not real, but very close, right? We can't walk another one of these strings coming. Look, that's, that's the most boring level three it's, in the game. I think Honda's is the best one. Mm. Honda's is by far the best one. <laughs> it's up there. Well, it's Sarah there, Blast, sure. they're sitting at 2-1 now. Yeah, so this is what the, this is our other winners match, right? So this is the chance to move in against that Jamie. The, the DIs go to Diamond Ranks for a second. The DIs just trade at the start of the match. That looked something like some of my rank matches. <laughs> what was that whiff sweep? Oh, nice challenge there with the headbutt. We saw that before, right? Last time we saw Plus is not real. The challenge is to the headbutt by jumping up. But again, you're not getting a lot of reward from that. Headbutt is still just, yes. the risk reward is so skewed in Honda's favor when it comes to headbutt. Very well not headbutt, jobber. excuse me, butt slam. I would say that's that's the that's the strength of the character right there. The risk reward for Honda is always so great. And you know, of course the HP bump, that's something that we haven't mentioned. They do have 500 extra health in this, in, in this game. And they need it right now with this, the pressure that was coming in. No, we had the hit. That was the game winner. Mm. Plus is not real. I feel like plus is not real has been trying to bait out a lot of DPs. And every time they try to bait it out, Cereal Blast is not doing it. But then when they don't try to bait it out, they're getting hit by DPs. It's the worst luck.
That was the longest time I've seen both of them go without pressing buttons. Oh, another $50 from Neos Gaming drops in right as the Sumo Slam. Puts plus is not real ahead in this game. This is crucial. We do not want to go to a final game against Zero Blast. We've seen how dangerous that can be. Uh -oh. Big shout out to Neos Gaming for that $50 contribution on that stream. Thank you again. All right, here we go. We like this max damage combo. Going into level three here. We're trying to take the lead, get it out of the way. It is three out of five here in top eight. We still got a lot of Street Fighter to play. Not quite able to burn out, though, but one forced block there is going to put Zero Blast into burnout, but we go. Is that going to hit? No, it's a whiff. You know, you know what's massive. funny? Is Zero Blast not blocking that one is probably the best strat yeah. so that you don't get burned out and guarantee yourself a loss for that game. You know what I mean? 100%. Exactly. That's kind of that. smart. Yeah. My opponents online just get hit because, you know, I'm playing on like Silver 2. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's super, though? I don't know. That was a little bit, a little bit yappy. Okay, opening up with a clean bread and butter that's gonna push Honda all the way in the corner. Try to get cheeky with the short string into the DI. Allows Honda to just jump out. And that is terrible because now you're holding all this damage in the corner. Honda's just gonna reap. Wow, just the harassment. That's another the punish. Blood slam. Yeah, baiting out the drive reversal there. And that's what we like to Tongs see, baby. How we are bouncing. Plans. How many are we going to put out? Yes. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is the kind of Honda play I like to see. This is true neutral, guys. This is how the game is supposed to be played. You, you guys are all doing it all wrong. Footsies? Nah. Buttsies. Buttsies. Oh, my goodness. Don't give that one to them for free. Okay, the EX, that's minus two, so a pretty decent situation for Ken. Able to wait it out and get the punish. Reverses right back. Okay. Yeah, but look at the reward, too. All right, this is going to be a much bigger reward here, baiting out the throw with the neutral jump. EX Fireball to make sure we're plus as hell. The e Fireball is pretty decent. EX Jinrai, I actually am not sure the frames on that one. I don't think plus is not real new either. It's not good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's never worth using unless you're confirming into a combo. It looks terrible. Things are looking terrible for Stop. plus. It's not real right oh, now. My dude is like ass, 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 ass. <laughs> <laughs> final game, final round. You know, it's funny, that's what I hear every time I play you, Tom. Mm. <laughs> oh no, the whipped Ochio throw. That's a massive L for plus is not real. And the super is actually gonna force the burnout situation. So things going from bad to worse and the absolute worst time for this to happen. Man, this has been so much more competitive than our other set on winner's side. It's just so wild. This is like yeah. just absolutely insane oh, gameplay. Oh, pay like, attention! Yes! Yes! Have to be paying attention there. And this is great for Plus Is Not Real as well, because look at their drive gauge building up, about to get it all back now, which means they can just put the pressure on Cerroblast. That's Ooh. not good. You cannot do that when you are burnt You're out. dead. That's it. And Plus I Is clap. Not Real. I almost clapped. Golf clap. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever felt like clapping for Honda, man. <laughs> that was... That was a hot, that was a great match. We like that Honda action around here, bruh. We get new players into the fold. Things get take another level. You know, big shout out to Ray Ray coming through with a sub. That's my dog. Pulling up just in time for his boy. Yes, sir. Coach Steve going up against Punk. Whoa, whoa. Punk going with the jury, though. Yeah, bringing out the jury Let's for go. this matchup. You have to remember, uh, even on past TNS, we saw Mena pull out the Blanca like, for Cammy, right? Yeah. Likes the Blanca versus Cammy matchup here. So Punk definitely going for a different route here. Yeah, Punk has played Mena enough times to you know figure out some counterplay here. Big shout out to Cutter FGC coming through with the sub. Thank you so much for joining us. This is losers, guys, for anybody who's asking or tuning in a little bit late. Um, life, Punk, Punk on the line. I don't think Punk actually lost anybody. Punk just DQ'd in the first round. Yeah, which is an insane losers run to make it all the way here. Sure yeah. is. Like I said, yeah. this is going to be the best YouTube video of all time for Punk, all right? <laughs> You're essentially I doubling your amount of games yeah. you have to play at that point. It's going to be a terrible Punk video, though, if Coach Steve can somehow pull this out today. Yeah, the Blanca is very impressive from Coach Steve. They they are somebody who has, I think, tapped into the multitude of the Blanca tool set, not just relying on one or two th things that are strong about the character, but actually making a really deep use of their tools. Didn't matter in the first round. Punk held it down clean and neutral. That was a longer game. It takes the first round. Big shouts to Delicious coming through. Thank you so much for the sub. One thing about Jury here is her footsies game and her rushdown game is some of the best. Great walk speed as well to go for those kind of shimmies there with those long range normals that she can drive cancel. You see Coach Steve already here about to get killed from this one confirmed.
confirm. Are we going to spend the level three? No, we just go level one. We don't even need it. Wow. Punk doesn't want to watch the cutscene, all right? Wants to get straight into the next one. Wow. wow. I got to be honest. Um, jury feels like when you're fighting against her, one of the most complete characters in Street Fighter VI. Buttons are good. Damage is, I would say, medium. No, it's not super high, but also not terribly low. She has a lot of potential to add that damage on. Oh, I actually tried to go for a bait there, I believe, but still caught by the up ball. Coach Steve able to get things going for a second. And I, yeah, I like that Punk is challenging a lot of these, a uh, lot of these light Blanca balls. Every single Blanca ball that we see is challenging it one after another here. But now look at it. You see Coach Steve trying to buffer there at full screen. Okay. How do you feel about Blanca in this game? I mean, honestly, it's, it's a character that traditionally gets so much crap for being kind of cheesy or whatever, but I feel like they've seriously done a great job rounding out this character. I think he's still cheesy. But oh, definitely. He's oh, cheesy, yeah, for but sure. he's still rounded out very well, like yeah. you said. Yeah, the addition of the Blanca Chan, you know, really annoying, adds a lot more potential to their damage and mix-up opportunities. Blanca Ball, very diverse in this game. Ooh, nice. Even attacks on the slide, getting the full complete damage there. That air block of all is incredible in this game. I mean, they give him an install. He might have one of the best installs in the game. Yes. Honestly, which is how yes. strong it is. And it's new. Brand new. Jury definitely has the best. Probably hard to uh, disagree with. Yeah, if you want to talk about characters with installs, both of them on screen right now. Any character with a drive rush overhead combo is pretty nasty. Deal with Jury yep. is very, very hard to see. And just like that, Punk's going to tie things back up in the second game, one to one. Both players sitting on their level three, so no bar spent yet. Yeah, for a lot of the characters, it really feels like you do hold on to just level three, right? Yeah. Uh, I feel like only a few characters in the cast, maybe half of them, do spend their level ones or the level twos, and it's usually in very specific situations. You're right. That definitely could change more over time, but right now it's a disaster for Coach D. Back in the corner, Jury just pressing, using those buttons to keep things locked down. That was a great slide, an even better hop. If you can side switch in this game, it is so disheartening for your opponent to do all that work and to lose it all on a blink. Comboing the level three here is going to put the pressure on Punk now. Oh, but I like Ooh. that block ball in. Wow, going for the command grab. It's still not enough to kill, but we just got to find that one touch. Beautiful throw tech from Punk. It's still in this though, right? Has yes. the critical art available. If we can get one solid confirm, no, the trade. Rated with the fireball. Blanca's buttons are kind of nuts. Nice. They're very good. That crouching jab is seriously <laughs> annoying. <laughs> it's crazy because it feels like Blanca doesn't have anything middle range. She either has close Correct. range yes. buttons or buttons that reach so far. You're right. Absolutely true. The mid range is a little bit awkward for Blanca. Jerry says, let's just go ahead and take it right to the chop. Drive rushes on in, finds a firm early. Oh no, in the corner, this is going to hurt and set up a nasty situation. I like the check there, trying to get the throw tech out of Coach Steve or catch them pressing one of those stubby normals that we mentioned. Oh boy, backs it up, chooses to just go ahead and take the opportunity to get some of these stocks back. What a reaction, ready for the EX Blanca ball. Nicely done from Punk. Steve's gonna choose to spend a few stocks here and extend this combo. The, the health bars are pretty close, but I was just about to say Coach Steve is in that danger range where one poke from Jury could lead to the L. Sure enough, Punk was ready. Punk is always so optimal with the confirms as well. Willing to spend all the drive gauge to finish the food here. There's the overhead, so cheap like you mentioned, KP. Counter hit was good, the overhead overhead was good. We're already looking at less than 50% for Blanca. Before this combo even started, Punk's gonna decide to just cash it all out. No, we're gonna hang on to the supers. There it is. Ooh, yep, the pinwheel into the level three. Punk is gonna go up to one. Jeez. It's not a perfect. No, I lied. Like, Shut up, KP. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it looked close enough, all right? Dominant, though. Dominant game from Punk. Absolutely here, and just needs one more to eliminate Coach Steve from the bracket. Remember, Punk DQ'd into loser, so still has not been beaten. <laughs> yeah. That is a critical point to bring up. Perfect parry was good, and another overhead hit. Oh, boy. The fireball has been charged. Just harassing here, putting out those elbows. Nice check with the crouching light punch. Steve not baiting on the shimmy, but on the second chance, Punk able to find the hit. And with the resources spent here, are we going to do it? Level one? No, just barely too far away. There's Doesn't matter. Problem. Yeah, he owed me one. He owed me one. Oh, no. But doesn't get 
punished for it. That is so tragic for Coach Steve, right? That was your opportunity to really make the momentum swing in your favor. Yeah, and now King fans rejoicing. That was a big one. That was a really big one. Here we go. Nice gets confirmed. Sets out Blanca Chan. Has the opportunity to set him off, but yeah. That's a really good response from Punk, right? We, we tried to set up Block Chan just a little too late. Steve tried to do a surprise hop for there, trying to make something happen. Punk was ready with the burnout on deck. You gotta know that that stun combo is going to be coming. No. <laughs> just three driving backs. In the name of style. Yep, 3 1 Punk moving on in top eight and eliminating Coach Steve from the bracket here. Great oh. stuff from Punk. Again, still ATC undefeated, coach, even though. losers. Yeah, ATC All right. coach. That's a lot of people's favorites, I would say, for sure. You know, just top two at uh, CEO, top three, excuse me. Yeah, Didn't absolutely. Lose. Great run in CEO. Lost only to Nephew. Oh my goodness, I love the pace of these matches. We're right back into it. Ken versus DJ. So EZR, unfortunately, was at the hands of Cyril Blast's Ken earlier, yes. and it was brutal. We did not get to see EZR flex. And then Chris was 100% still also playing in that gear earlier. We'll see if they can bring that level back the same way that Cyril did earlier. But that was a great check there with the flash kick, right? Able to catch the EX Tatsu out of the corner in a big way. So Chris sitting in burnout now. This is where EZR can really put on the pressure. All those extra plus frames that you get when your opponent is in burnout really matter. Pixel left. What is uh, Chris going to try to do with this? Fighting for their life. Look at that. Just buffering the DP there. Every DJ was so excited when they saw that fake fireball it's in so the trailer. Good. It's awesome. It's just a very, very cool tool to have. Unfortunate conversion was not there for Chris. It's going to go down on the first round. EZR already putting up a way bigger fight than they were able to earlier against Zero Blast. All right. Again, patience here from EZR. Uh, possibly, maybe a change they need is to be a little bit more aggressive. I mean, they have a round on deck, though, so don't listen to me. <laughs> but now it's time for the throw loops in the corner. Checks with the crouching light punch. Oh, scary situation there, but EZR blocks it out, trying to find that perfect opportunity to get themselves out, not wanting to take too many risks earlier. Oh, oh my! Yo! Dash okay. in. Put your left foot in, put your left foot out, huh? Hit him with the hokey pokey that mix was, up. That's crazy. That was hokey pokey if I've ever seen it, man. <laughs> That was that was well called. Disgusting shimmy from Chris. Finds the round, but we spent the bar. So we're going into the final round now. Up three meters for EZR. What are we gonna be able to do with this? I have to see. I think the first confirm you get, you're gonna want to try and get that massive life lead. Especially look at how low the drive gauge is now for Chris. But they can keep that pressure up, it's all gonna come back. Yeah, no fear from the Kim players tonight. Why don't you just spin? make it happen. I don't think it's a strategy that anybody could argue with, even going to burnout just to force the EXDP there, or the, me, the overdrive DP and finds a perfect to close it out. Yikes, after a really decent first round from EZR. Yeah, very scary there. Seems like EZR's DJ might be a little weak to the Ken matchup. I feel like we're all weak to that Ken matchup. It's, it's so overwhelming once they get started. EZR's got to find their comfort zone in neutral, put a stop sign on some of these options. The Dragon Lash just hitting raw there and leading to another great corner carry opportunity. You have to be able to figure out a way to get out of this corner here. It's just been consistently put back up against the wall. Gets out this time. All right, let's the EX flash kick loose. Ooh, the throw. Okay, get this started. Try to go for the shimmy option really early, but Chris was not biting. Solid. Very, very, very careful not to try to go into burnout there, but that ended up being a worse thing because getting hit sometimes actually is worse than going into burnout. Chris moves ahead. Uh -oh. big whip. You want to talk about getting hit? See how much damage we can do. Instead, we just stopped the combo short there. Didn't want to commit too much. I mean, again, Yo. you don't have level three. That was a good punish. I like that on the whip kicks there. Scary little moment when they're actually not touching each other. Very, very rare between these two. Came back in a burnout, but has pressure. So the corner, oh, just, just not looking good for easy Not going to be enough to kill, though, off of this level three. But like you said, Chris is looking very strong at the moment. Just needs to find that single touch. Is out of burnout. I bummer. think once Chris puts themselves in a burnout, EZR isn't really trying to establish any pressure, right? Still just allowing Chris to 
Get away and steal turns. A lot of fear. A lot of fear for sure in the matchup. And I think that was a strategic use of the level three that soaked up a lot of the burnout time from Chris. They were able to even the odds again a little bit. But okay, easy are gonna fight back. And that's gonna be around. Yes. Let's get back into this. Chris spent some bar as well, so we're zero zero apiece. That's a decent look if you're going into the final round. I love DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glow up. Huge <laughs> glow up. Oh, what a perfect carry there, though, on the fireball. Those fireballs are pretty hard to carry, too, on reaction. After agree, but an even better stand light kick punish there from EZR. Getting some corner carry of their own involved. Let's try to keep this kin cage. You want to have that back against the wall the whole time. And just as I say that, Chris has been on point with the EX Tatsu escapes. Yeah, and the fear of being put into the corner there, EZR actually spent their drive reversal as well. A lot of that drive gauge gone. Just kicks him in the chin. Yeah, we need us. If we're going to slow things down, we need to be able to react to those dragon dish kicks, right? If you can see it coming, that is a free DI. Yeah. That, that's a hard thing to do with, like, spin knuckle and dragon lash, those moves that are super obnoxious if you block them. Having the ability to react with DI is crucial, but very tough to do. Okay, Chris tried to go for a DR into throw, which put them into burnout. So, a huge opportunity for EZR. Oh, wow. That, I, that had to have been a fireball, right? I think I so. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten low medium into fireball. It's a thing in this game, for sure, 100%. Alright, there's the check. Oh, no. Oh, you're Are we building it? We're building it. We're building it, 100%. Yeah, and there we go. Chris going up 2-0 right now. The only way for EZR to stay in this is to really make a huge change and steamroll Chris 3-0. Just stand up and hit a quick O Canada. Just stand up, hit a quick O Canada. Ignite the fire, you know what I'm saying? Bounce back. The DJ is capable. We can absolutely make this happen. We just need to dig deep right now. Yeah, Chris is hot right now, though. He just came off a huge win yesterday, winning a can opener, I believe. Yeah. He either won or got second place. Y'all can, can correct me on that in the chat. But yeah, obviously playing really hot right now. Surprised to even see him in the losers. He actually went to losers in pools earlier. Kind of early. He got second yesterday. Thank you. Who sent him to the pools? Do we know? Um, no, I don't remember. In my pool, I should remember, but I don't. Unfortunately. You sent him to the loser? Yeah. <laughs> He's here right now with a massive lead in this game. Very well done. Closing it out. Getting that early round. 1-0. Wow, why is that drive rush so fast? <laughs> it is something else. It is 100% something else. Ooh, no, he's choosing to try to do a drive reversal, but that's just a big punish opportunity for Chris. Already in the corner. All right, yeah, just harassing with those Jinrai kicks. Beautiful DP as well. Ooh, nearly got the punish, but wasn't quite close enough. He's still doing such a good job locking down the corner. Oh, but eating a drive impact there, even when you're blocking, you're still taking that big damage, even if it is scaled. Oh my god, that is a hell of a round there for Chris. You see, EZR is still getting rounds every single yes. game. It's just the way that Chris is adapting to the changes on the fly, and the moment that EZR gets put into the corner, oh it kind of no. feels like it all crumbles apart. You couldn't be more right, man. And the heavy Dragon Lash setting up a throw opportunity for Chris, putting EZR right back in the corner. Oh yeah, we're gonna go straight into level three here? No, we wanna save it. I respect that decision. Chris is playing extremely well. Yeah, you definitely want to put some meter aside, you know, just in case you get in the burnout a little bit later and you need something to beat some drive impact, you know? Especially in this situation. That is a very good observation, especially against DJ, who can function incredibly well in burnout. This is scary. EZR has chance, has potential. Meter is stocked, but it is looking awfully grim right now. One bad two. There it is. Oh! No, it's <laughs> Almost fine. missed it. EXDP, there we go. Gets the pickup. Chris moving on in top eight loser side. Yeah, it's kind of hard for EZR. I mean, once Chris had the health lead in any round, though, it seemed like the onus was on EZR to try to get in on him, and it, he was finding it difficult. And, you know, I'd be scared, too. You know, Ken's got a, <laughs> too, much, too much wild stuff to <laughs> All right, Punk going back to Cammy, though. Sure, that makes sense. I think Cami. we talked about this a little bit earlier. Um, Cami is one of the very few characters who probably rival Ken's buttons in the mid-range, but hey, it doesn't matter if you just get started really early. Coming through with the clean bread and butter to push Punk all the way into the corner, burnout active, but it doesn't matter if your sequences are clean. 
There's the dry, or there's the OD, excuse me. You had to know it was coming. The question was when. Hero Blast immediately just recovers the corner, though. Yo, very rare that you see Punk get bullied like that in a round. That's where that relentless offense actually pays off. Man, Punk usually has godlike reactions to that kind of stuff. Really surprised to see that there for sure. Whoa. Just getting blasted by drive impact. Hero Blast, seven seconds of the round already had half of his stock left in their entire drive meter. <laughs> that's what I like to see. And that's the way you got to play sometimes. You got to be aggressive. Yes. You know, they give you the meter, it comes back. Use it up. You don't want to be doing this. You don't have to be predicting, a, you know, Kami dive kicks and dealing with those buttons. That's, that's the terrible place to be in this matchup. So, yeah, I agree with the Cerro Blast philosophy. Oh, we're just going to let it rip. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cerro Blast level three. This, this is the Cerro Blast classic now. All right. Okay. Yeah, the drive meter is almost back. Wow. Dragon Lash, no good there. I mean, yeah, great if you land it, but Punk with the wherewithal to know that you can drive and pack that. Get a full combo. That's going to tie the games up one to one. With a slight meter advantage for Punk going into the final game. And that meter is definitely going to come in handy for Punk here. Wow. If he doesn't spend it right away, he's going to be guaranteed at least level two. Yeah, I like for the, the idea of the opening there from Cerro Blast. Basically trying to mix up the timing off the drive rush, throwing in the, the Dragon Lash. That was a cute little sequence. Ooh, big meter spent from Zero Blast. That's even more unfortunate when you get that punish. Just shoot, Punk just choosing to back throw into the corner, Look, dominating. You can get Punk once, all right? You you got Punk with the drive impact one time. Oh, look at that. You're not getting him again with the super either. But you're not going to get him twice, all right? Punk, my man Punk does not get hit by the same thing twice, all right? Punk, Punk is definitely clever. There's, there's no... No question about it. Smart player, very sharp, adaptable. He adapts very quickly here. 1-0, I like it. It was looking pretty bad in that first game, and or in that first round, excuse me. That's pretty normal so far we've seen from Cerro Blast. It was complete dominance, and even a promising start to the second round, but Punk adapted, looking strong, threw in a big opportunity to start this game off. The dive kick lands clean, and the second sequence is clean. Carrying them all the way to the corner. The corner sequence is clean. Look, Punk, Punk has already made the adjustment. Yeah. It's on Cerro Blast now to make the adjustment yeah. as well. Have to agree. Okay, we have the corner again. Yeah, that is so hard to react to in this game. But by the time you make the adjustment against Punk, though, Punk is already adjusting before you adjust it. You That's know true. what I mean? Like. I mean, it's the mark of a top fighting game player. That's why Punk is one of the best players to play Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. Always two steps ahead here. And there we go, beating out the fireball as well with the dive. I, at the same time, though, I'm still kind of rooting for uh, the Ken Mirror later. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm cheering for Cerro Blast. Oh, that's oh. so bad. That's so unfortunate, Cerro Blast fans. We are in shambles. That is absolutely not what we wanted to see. Oh, you see us buffering, though, <laughs> right? Trying to react to any button press or that green goo. The Nickelodeon slime, anything. That's what I'm talking about. Not the green goo part. <laughs> <laughs> Now the corner pressure from Cerro Blast, choosing to use the EX that kept the sequence alive and the wall bounce is going to give us more than enough, I think. Yeah, absolutely. The amount of damage that that level two does tax on a nice chunk. Here we go straight into the next round here. It's going to be a huge round for Cerro Blast, right? We can't allow Punk to get that 2-0 lead. That's going to be very difficult to make a comeback from. But Punk is sitting on level three early on. You're definitely right. I don't think anybody's going to come back from a 2-0 deficit against Punk. I mean, unless you're playing, unless you're Mena and playing Blanca. True. <laughs> I mean, like, that, that could happen. But, uh, mm. yeah, this is so this is basically game point here. Looking very dire, that's for sure. Maximum, maximum damage. Just barely not building enough meter for the level oh. three. I thought we were going to cross up there, jump to the other side. I think that's exactly what Cerroblast was expecting as well. Cammy that wins. was disgusting. <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting. Everybody got hit in chat. 100%. 100%. The fake cross up. Okay, cross up Tatsu, something we rarely see in this game, but an option the Shoto still have. Heavy, heavy spin knuckle, I think, is the only one that's plus. Look, Sarah Blast has done an amazing job getting into top four here, top five here, in a 512 player bracket. But Punk is, Punk is actually making the Kami guy 
as he plays his tournament match. <laughs> this is a clinic. This is a clinic, 100%. Punk really show up to this top eight and said it's clobber in time, all right? Yeah, 100%. Punk, Punk showing us optimal punishes, optimal spacing, fantastic sequences. It's all moving together one at a time. Okay, we're going to get another chance here. The overdrive uppercut able to buy some space for Cero, but Punk immediately just goes back in. I think that's going to do it, guys. Level three, is it going to be enough? I didn't want to say it. I'm glad you did. And there it is. GTS go to sleep, says Punk. Well done. Well done. I, I'm not going to lie. You know, as much as I don't like playing against Cammy, I do like watching Cammy. Yeah. You know, for the obvious. For those 10 frames during that level Stop. 3 super, Stop. look, it's my favorite time of the day. Stop. Don't right. know how big of a diss that is. That's it stings. We're not, we're not 1080p proxy. You're 720p proxy. Thank you, American Bowser, for the Twitch Prime. We appreciate you. We're going to go into our second loser's quarter match, Vagabond versus Chris. Vagabond, unfortunately, got the horrible side of their top eight winners match uh, going down to 3 but a chance to redeem themselves here in the loser's side of the bracket. Yeah, good to see them make it. Oh, but the first jump in is going to get punished by the DP. A little bit of stagger there after the drive rush into a throw. Now, the matchup here is really interesting because it's very similar. Obviously, Luke is that new take on a Shoto, but I think what's really annoying for most characters to deal with is Sandblast. It, it dominates that 75% range so well, and wow, Bagamon making the most of it, forcing a drive impact situation out into a clean punish, taking that first round. Nice and nicely, nicely done. There's the patience, too from Chris, just trying to check with some of these Lightning Ones. The perfect parries on the Sandblast tonight have been kind of crazy yeah. for all these players. That's a fast fireball. They're really, really fast. Right, again, still just checking with these Sandblasts. Great wow. reaction with the drive impact. Going to be able to get a lot of corner carry off of this. Okay. Oh, we go for the backwards Tatsu. Ooh, not quite able to get the full confirm that we wanted, but that's all right. Still able to maintain this pressure. Mm -hmm. Chris responding pretty well in the second game. Throws are coming in really, really big. Ooh, that crouching median kick went so far. But we spend it all. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about spending the level three here, especially when you nearly have full health, right? And a lot of drive meter on deck, too. It's it's a cost that could potentially come back to pay, pay against them. But, you know, also I understand when you got the round, take it. Yeah, absolutely. But again, you're going against Vagabond now in this next round with three bars on deck, meaning any stray hit could lead straight to Memphis. So brutal. And, ooh, huge chance now. Vagabond back throwing into the corner. That's one of the actual scary things when engaging those three loops. And Chris has been 100% for EX Talk Dude out of the corner. That is just an option that they are ready for every single time, and people are letting them get away with it. Yeah, for sure, but that is going to be the end of the round here. Absolutely confirming it into level three. Vagabond is going to take game number one. That's juicy. That is really juicy. A great game for Vagabond. Nicely done. Already doing better than their winner side performance. Nice, you done Vagabond. Right. Sandblast seriously is one of the most annoying moves to deal with in this game. The fact that people are hitting those perfect carries so well is, I just have to revisit that. That is such an incredible thing. Here we go, nice corner carry with the Tatsu. Just holding block the entire time. Vagabond flinched and is gonna pay dearly for it again. Okay, now this is stubborn. You know what? I respect it. This is stubbornness at this point, yeah. But I like that we didn't go for the full combo confirm, and instead we just went straight into drive impact to get that burnout, right? Mm -hmm. Great decision making there from Chris, and a solid first round in game two. Vagamon's like, this can block twice? <laughs> in a row? Huh? Hold up. Is that new tech? Ooh, that Dial up combo. noises. Start yeah. <laughs> Brain not compute. Oh, jumps out of the corner, but Chris paying attention, able to back throw back into the corner, so we keep our keep our pressure. Keep everything right now. Ooh, beautiful counter. Big meterless opportunity from Luke into another throw setup. Oh, gets the check as well there with the crouching life punch off the drive rush. Oh, yep, and that is not a cancelable normal there for Luke, so it was very lucky that he was able to recover in time to block. Oh, empty jump in. All right, we're still able to get a button press in. Are we going to burn it? No, I like it. I don't think it would have killed. It would have been really close, but with your own HP and your own drive stock so low, choosing to wait it out, actually not what we wanted. Just a confirm from Chris into the level three. Oh, 
And that is absolutely perfect there from Chris, tying things up 1-1. That is, of course, a situation where you definitely want to spend the level three if you have it, right, to close out the game. Yes. That level three looks so much cooler in Critical Art. It does. We were, we were slandering it earlier, rightfully so, but the Critical Art does actually spice it up a little bit. Look, I slander a lot of things. I'm a natural born hater, all right? <laughs> Day one. Day one. Back to neutral, trading buttons. Vagabond finds the early advantage. Counter hit is good, pushes into the corner. Caging Ken, but unfortunate juggle there. It leads into a big opportunity for Chris to stack on some damage. All you see, trying to preemptively parry the follow-up to the Jinrai kick there. Okay, good anti-air into the run from Chris, and even better tech from Vagabond, but still Vagabond back against the wall, fighting out against these buttons. Drive stocks are low on both players. Yeah, but you see, Bagamon still willing to try and fight off the ropes here. Chris is now in burnout, and oh, there we boy. go. Just getting a little too greedy with that fireball game. Checked in a big way. Now it's bully time. Although Chris has been shown the willingness to burn the level one and the level two, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, I mean, if you got those on deck, you're not completely defenseless. Oh, multi hits. Actually able to break the drive impact. Not this time though, but drive impact of his own actually puts Vagabond into burnout. This is bad. Yeah, now you just have to respect the Dragon Lash kicks as well once you're in burnout. There it is, the level one. Able to close up the round here for Chris. Looks like the bully has become the bully. I think so, that's fair to say. And that's, that's Ken's right. Anytime Ken gets start started, it doesn't matter what player it is, what character it is. Ken has that privilege to go bully mode. So Vagabond's gonna slow things down now. So actually, let's, let's stack on a big, nice, fat, big damage combo. 40% life gone and corner advantage for Vagabond. You know, if Luke was bald, he would kind of look like a kid from Bully. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you like this guy. <laughs> look, I think Vagabond made a great choice trying to get the momentum started on his side with that level three. But it's been the EX Tatsu from Chris. Every time, automatic, just bailing themselves out from the corner. Chris closing in on this round though, getting a little bit closer, inching his way back into it. Megamon needs to find something to close it out. There oh, we go. Moments. Very tense moments. Wow, just wakes up with the button to the drive rush. Yeah. Yeah. That critical arc there, that's gonna be enough to finish it potentially. I think the scaling might be a bit too much off of the drive rush. Yep, just enough. So still, either player's round here. <gasps> and what a challenge there from Vagabond. A oh, little light punch, a little crouching medium punch. That was fierce. Chris wanted it, you could tell. They definitely were going for the throat there, but Vagabond was ready, paying attention. Clutches out the round, ties it up. Spending a little bit of stocks, just trying to move things forward with these drive rushes. Close the distance between Ken and the corner, but Chris fights back. And Man, that side switch feels so bad. Every every time he touches you, he can just side switch uh, if he wants. It's terrible. <laughs> just feels horrible. All right, nice parry there on the sand. Finally. Blast. But yeah, try. you have to be able to get those punches down. If you can allow Ken to escape from the corner for free, you're not going to get much pressure. All right, checking with the low this time, straight into the level three. Not quite burnout territory, though. Just barely enough to survive. What's the follow-up from Vagabond going to be? How risky do we do this? Okay, that was a, that was a decent Ooh. sequence. That was pretty calculated. Watch train into burnout, burnout into drive impact. Vagabond. The boom, divorced. <laughs> That's not what he says, right? No. <laughs> I don't know where that There's a mod for that. Yeah. But, yeah. 2-1, Vagabond leading. But I, I think it has been very competitive overall. Definitely still plenty of potential for Chris to turn this around and get back into this. Buffering something there, I like that, okay. Ooh, really? Perfect parry on the low button, nicely done. Gonna get a big corner carry combo here. Oh, great check there with the crouching light punch. You ain't throwing me, dog. I'd like to see that players are reacting to the green flash just yes. with their four frame normal, right? But what a backdash there to avoid the throw. That's still something we don't see very often, is the backdashes to try and avoid the throw situations. Back on so low on stocks. Very fortunate that they're able to jump out and Chris tried to get greedy there and engage with more drive rush, but Vagabond was ready again. He says, nah, shut that down. Put you back in the corner. Not this time though, that was a clean hit from Chris. You know, you gotta wonder if you're gonna see less drive rush as the game progresses in neutral, right? 
just because as people are figuring out ways to react to it. People are pairing a lot too. Yeah. You see that green, you just hit, slam that parry, pretty good chance you get it perfect. But it is like one of the key ways to actually, one of the few ways to get plus normals yes. in this game for a lot of the characters, so they kind of have to rely on it. Absolutely. That entire time, Chris was in burnout, nothing really affected him. Vagabond didn't really want to go in, waited for his opportunity, and it pays off. Vagabond, Vagabond's really showing their, their game intelligence in this set. I, I really like the way that they manage the pacing, been able to, you know, even in a situation where Chris was in burnout, not forcing, not over committing, over extending. Good start here on the on the game three, or the game two, excuse me. And with Vagabond sitting at a comfortable position, still has three bars. Chris trying to go for the coast to coast. Confirm. Baits out the DP once again. And this is where Vagabond really throws away some of these games. We yeah. saw that double EXDP in the first game as well. There's definitely a, a ticking time bomb within Vagabond where they just say, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Chris seems dialed in on that. Had some pretty good reads on all of the, uh, the OD uppercuts so far. I like the range that Vagabond is standing in here. Keeping things nice and tight. Ooh, but Chris was actually ready for that one, but no more off of it, though. Oh, Ooh. but what a challenge there with the crouching heavy punch of all things. What? Off a counter hit like that? That was disgusting. Tied it up. Chris fighting. Says, I want to stay in this. My, my story is not over yet. Memphis. <laughs> Memphis. Just Memphis. Nothing else needs to be said. Just Memphis. Nice 40% damage tacked on there. Ooh, ooh, the throw. Good job from Chris blocking that. Another throw definitely was on the table there. Yeah, okay, just trying to throw a drive impact. Great on block, though. It pushes us back further towards mid-screen. And we get the back throw. This is a good position here for Chris. Wow, what a confirm. Bet it all on that crouching medium kick. No burnout though, but very close. Vagabond's gonna be feeling it, exactly. Perfectly placed the Doken, forcing the burnout. Chris gonna try to make something happen now. Dragon Lashes, good. Back throw back into the corner. Watch out for the stun. You know that Vagabond's gonna wanna jump out of this corner. I'm wondering if... Oh no! You're dead. Yeah. Wow. That was tragic. We had the right read, right? Yes. Chasing up to stop them from jumping. That but was a heartbreaker. Yeah, just jumped a little too late. So unfortunate. That was a heartbreaker. That's a lot of spinach, brother. You know what I'm nah. saying? A lot of Satsui no Hato in those forearms, man. But here we go. Moving on to our winner's finals your boy. here at TNS. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is my favorite player to watch in this bracket tonight. Plus, is not real, and I completely agree when you got EX Headbutt on your side. Let's even get one off, though. Jamie has for sure been the standout character in this top eight. Though. JB, Jamie was so impressive in their match against Vagabond. Oh, boy. I know JB. I know JB can definitely play, but uh, I don't know. Jamie, Jamie has missed some punishes already this yeah. round. I mean, we just started here. It's been a while. JB's been chilling, maybe cooling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That is the worst part about being on this winner's side here and getting having to play first. You have to wait a little bit. Hey, he ain't looking cooled off at all. All you need is a few drinks in you, and you're all warmed That's right. up. All right? That's right. I think, I think he's warmed up now. Throw a couple back. Somebody was telling me, I saw on Twitter, uh, they were like, you know, even with four drinks, Jamie isn't the best character in the game. So instead of just trying to chase Jamie, uh, just let him get drunk and then let him chase you down and you can play him like a normal <laughs> character, you know? There is definitely, shout to Ralph, there is, a, there is some sentiment to that because Jamie wants you to chase that. Yeah. He wants you to say, like, come after me, come after me, and, and fish in the, the annoying moves that he has in his skill set. But also, if if the Jamie player is really accurate, there's so many unique tools that they have to blow up. Drive the impact, drive rush. I mean, one thing we've been seeing a lot from Jamie players is that drive rush heavy punch, right? Mm -hmm. It is just such a solid tool. Ooh. Beautiful, perfect parry. Miss. Oh, no! This is the second time, like I was talking about before. He hit that same perfect parry against the butt slam and missed a huge punish opportunity, and this time he missed the entire round for it. That's unfortunate. Plus, his not real fans are definitely, that is, that's so classic. Oh. That is so classic. The butt slam, all oh, but we already committed there to the Rekka. There's something special about that critical art, really. The camera angle did. It's coming. It did so much work with that. 
Oh, going in, no drinks, no problem. All I'm saying is thanks to Fuss is not real, Honda fans are eating tonight. Mm -hmm. You get to see a lot of Honda action. Right now though, JB put on a clinic of a round, choosing to actually go for no drinks in all these exchanges, just pressuring, using the drive drive meter to move Honda towards the corner, which is not a bad idea. I mean, Honda does suffer for sure once you get in the corner. All right, again, just harassing with these headbutts here, trying to shimmy, but what's there to shimmy when it's just headbutts and butt slams? I think Honda has a pretty decent option in EX headbutt though, because even if they neutral jump, you know, and you miss or something like that, you still get out of the corner, right? Yeah. Usually fairly safely. You know those Honda are looking forward to. Oh, I'm always looking Oh my goodness, huge command throw here. All right, there it is. Yep, just drive rush on in, putting pluses not real into burnout, getting the stun, and that's gonna be game number one to JB. That's brutal. Sweet JB. Yeah. Plus is not real, put up an incredible effort in this one. I just think that, I mean, this is a hard matchup for me to say who wins or who loses. It feels feels pretty fair, but JB is seeming much more prepared for the Honda matchup right now than Plus is not real for the game. Just one game though, just one game. Let's see where we go from here. Plus is not real looking much, much better in the offense then. Oh, nice whip punish there. Punish counter, in fact. He, the way that JB is still able to play so well in footsies, even with his back up against the wall, is mm -hmm. pretty inspiring, actually. Yeah. Great dances. He's just still doing it. Three meters on deck. Sorry, three drinks, excuse me. Dangerous. Lights. That dive kick is so strong as well. Perfect parry. <laughs> Say goodbye to your drive gauge. JB was definitely sizing that one up. Plus is not real, goes into burnout. Scary situation, the EX command grab. Oh, Jamie hasn't busted that one out yet. Well done. <laughs> it's so tight, that command grab is Very so cool. tight. Yeah. Reminds me a lot of uh, Scumgale, right? Because he gets the combo afterwards. Okay, yeah, That's I see you. Yeah, I see you. I definitely see the, the inspiration. Oh, they blocked EX up kicks. So now a big chance from Honda, moving Jamie into the corner. I like it. Go ahead and spin the three bars. It's very, very close. I don't think JB goes into burnout. He might actually. No, no, he still has plenty of plenty left, right? Yeah. About half a drive gauge left here. Oh, and the perfect parry! If he blocked that, he probably would have gone into burnout. I feel like he's been automatic with that. He really, really has. JB looking really, really tight with the parries. Ooh, not this time on the headbutt. Woo, we get the stomp. Very, very rare. Oh, yeah, we're trying to parry every single one of these. And a great parry there on the EX headbutt. Gets the standing heavy kick punish as well. Look, JB with no health and, <laughs> and no drive bar. If he's able to make this comeback, he's got it. It's all right. He's got the drinks. Oh, no. He was so close to making this comeback. One hit away and falls to <laughs> neutral jump heavy kick. We've all been there. That was a back jump heavy kick in the corner. Try to go for the five head option. Plus is not real, so I'm not thinking. Ties it up, one to one. Quickie sippy there as well. Trying to break dance on him. Man, that standing heavy kick is just such a strong yes. whiff punish tool for Jamie. The range on it is deceptive. Yes. You can tell Jamie <laughs> was trying to size up another parry there. Plus is not real, finally cashing in an Ocho throw, stacking on some big damage. Yeah, I think uh, plus is not real just means plus is not real for his opponent. For himself, that was definitely fair, real. Fair. That butt slam, plus one, going into EX throw, that's a little cheap. Even for me. Hey, the things are building up now. Three for JB. Oh, man, are we just going to go straight into critical art? Yeah, it should still kill. This is pretty close, yeah. It does at least 50% of its scaling always. Okay. That's one big thing about critical art. It will always do at least half of the damage. Yeah, we really need to follow up, right? Doesn't even need it there. Low lead now for JB. What a winner's final, by the way. We're Jamie versus Honda. I know. This is awesome. This shows just how balanced the game is in yeah. its current state. I like I what you said earlier. You don't want it to be too balanced. Yeah, you don't want it to be too balanced. But this is as balanced as a fighting game gets right now, at least for the week three. Oh, my goodness. We just dry rush in the regular throw. Mm, no. I feel like all of these rounds, I keep thinking plus is not 
Plus is going to win, and then JV somehow comes out to win every time. The sequences. Yeah. It's the sequences that JV are putting together. You can tell how practiced they are. Yeah, and the perfect parries too, right? Mm -hmm. The perfect parries being able to shut down some of that offense coming out from Plus is not real. Great drive rush in. <laughs> I see you, Plus is not real. You're hungry. You want to make something happen. JB playing at a good range, though, keeping it low to middle. Yeah, wow. staying outside of Honda's effective range. That's one of Honda's downsides, is he's kind of stubby with his normals, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to commit to those specials, and Plus is not real has already proven that for Sumo Slam, especially, that they have the parries on deck. Who just backs up and forces out another green bar from Plus is not real. Look, as much as I joke about Honda not being good, obviously Honda is very good, you know, as a Honda main. Uh, but, you know, I do feel like his gameplay is kind of one-dimensional at times. Yeah, you know? Yeah. In a first to two set, I feel like Honda is much stronger than in a first to three set, right? Where you have a little more room to breathe. Yeah, absolutely. Once you figure out exactly what brand of Honda player you're going up against, you can start reacting like this with the perfect parry, shutting down this offense, really figuring out their, their defense, too. Oh, well, this is looking bleak. Oh, Whoa, no. too early? Yeah, just a little, but we're able to jump up, blowing up. Yeah, able to Go blow back. up the butt slam, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Another jump back, heavy kick in the corner. <laughs> is that the Honda truth? I guess so. I like what the chat is saying. Honda does need a teleport. <laughs> Isn't that butt slam? That that literally made my brain rock around in my head. Butt slam should be unparryable. It should actually land as a command. It should be both. Okay, back into the neutral now. The drive meters are punished on both characters. Plus, it's not real with a bit of an advantage. That's so risky going for those slams over and over when JB's already shown. Whoa! What a punish! And it's just JB's reactions and the understanding of how, just how Jamie functions and what goes into what on any given situation is so incredible. That's such a Come in, bad. grab! Okay. I feel like Justice Plus is not real is about to turn it on there. JB took it to another level. Hey, JB with Jamie sitting in grand finals winner's side. Very well, run right now from Punk. That's yeah, true. That's very true. Do you think we're going to see the jury or the cami? Uh, in this matchup up against Vagabond, I think we'll probably stick with cami. Look, yeah. last week also, I believe Punk started out in losers for first round. So, but he, got, he ended up in second place playing the Ken Mirror against Chris T. We'll see what he does today. He's going to have to get past Vagabond first to even get a chance at Grand Finals again. John Vagabond putting on some early green dash pressure into a confirm. Now we're holding the corner. Punk said, nah. Such a big deal from the OD reversal from Cami that it side switches too. So it feels that much worse when you get hit, you lose your pressure, and you lose your corner. Absolutely here, but you can get out of the corner just like that with the EXDP. That's something we saw Vagabond do a lot last time they yeah. were on stream, right? right? Kind of to their detriment. Yes, you're right. It, it was a detriment before. Let's see if they can tune it in a little bit better this time. Going into Burnout, this is so scary against Punk because you know Punk is very, very articulate with their their punishes on your Burnout. You're going to have to hold a lot of nasty strings. Yeah, unfortunate. Punk goes up one round. Mm. There we go. Yep, just dry brushing on in with the crouching light punches there as fast as possible. Take those. I mean, when you're going up against a character with great buttons like Cami, I understand you just want to go for the fastest dry brush you can. Yeah, true. But, you know, Punk is paying attention. Back throw, fluke into the corner. Now, this bread and butter is going to put him all the way in the corner. Ooh. In situation, Vagabond able to block the first exchange, but the follow up strikes from Cami are good. It's going to seal the first game. It's pretty quick. Yep. But you still got to get three, right? So Punk needs two more here. Gives Vagabond more time to adapt to the situation and come up with a solid game plan. Definitely capable. I don't think anybody out there would argue that Luke really loses any matchups super heavily. So the tools are there. We just have to put them together now. Slow this Kami down. I like that walk forward uppercut. Very, very well placed. The big counter from Punk on the other side. Extremely well spaced dive kick, leading to huge pressure and even bigger damage on the corner situation. Ooh. Oh, mama mia. Was not expecting the last DP there at the end to close it out. But Punk always so optimal here. Yeah. 
Optimal is a great word for it. Vagabond still looking sharp though. Another successful DP. Oh, I don't think we were expecting that to hit actually, right? Just went straight into the throw attempt. Another great DP from Vagabond. But once again, getting caught by a lot of these crouching normals from Punk, walking straight into them. Yes. That was a good chance for Vagabond to take. Sneaking in the overhead combo there. Punk in the corner, holding pressure. Uppercut is good, counter hit is good. We gave it up, but it doesn't matter. The follow up, drive impact, wall bounce is gonna be enough. Ties it up, one round apiece. Here we go, round start situation. Both of them just walking each other down, actually. Very different from what we've seen from a lot of these players tonight. But there's the drive rush in. Gets the perfect straight into the level three. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, all right? All right, this is a good situation now for Vagabond. Oh no, missed up the drive rush there right at the start. That slight delay could have come back to haunt them. A Punk fighting their way out of the corner, getting the side swap as well. Checking with the light punches. Oh, there we go. That was a good option. I like breaking that out. Nicely done from Vagabond. Yeah, every once in a while you see that Sidewinder come out, right, to escape mm -hmm. from the corner. Sometimes you see it with corner combos as yes. well. Not caring, though. Not phased in the slide. It's a great confirm. Going to push this character to the corner. Very well done. Punk going up 2-0. to zero. I feel like they're really turning it on now. He's definitely sensing some, some blood in the water. It's all business from here on, KP. It's why he's playing the assassin. I hate blocking King in the corner. It's got to be the one of the worst feelings in the game. Vagabond jumps out, though, finds a cross up, and then a beautiful situation to set things up. No, letting Punk out and a confirm as well. Harassing with that crouching heavy punch. It's also not necessarily just how strong her buttons are from lengthwise, but it's the angles that yes, they hit, right? Correct. That crouching heavy punch has such a good angle to it. It's very weird, you know, yeah. very weird to deal with. Cammy just full of options, full of angles. Very, very well said. Vagabond with a neutral jump. No, but dropping a massive opportunity. Punk a little bit down in drive meter, though. This is an important chance for Vagabond. If they want to stay in this, they've got to find a way to slow down this pressure and take advantage of their drive lead. And all this harassment here from Punk. Gets the throw. Straight in into the plus knuckle. Throw again. And now your back is up against the wall. But we are waking up with buttons, KP. That's we are not Marisa quite special. out of it yet. We know. Live or die by that four frame jab. Straight to Memphis. To pee or not to pee. That is the question. I pee. <laughs> Punk with enough <gasps> life to survive another sequence. And Vagabond misses their drive rush meaty. Punk on the other end of this, going to combo into level three. I think that's it. Yeah, with the critical art. I Absolutely. So. Sheesh. Execute. Nothing personal. Execute. <laughs> I don't know. I like the critical art. I think it's kind of cool. No, it's cool. It's cool. I just think the version where she's like flying in the, the air, ones, right, yeah, is, is it, way cooler. Super cinematic. It's each other. Yeah. Look at that smile. Look. Oh, no, that's a game face. All right, we got Kami. All right, speculation is over. Honda players feel a lot of things. We feel fear, we feel sadness, you know, we feel happiness, we feel all of it. We just respond with headbutt every time, though. It doesn't really matter. Facts. Yeah. Just, the skull is just really thick, right? Yeah. yeah, you know, when I was playing football as a kid, you know, I got really excited. <laughs> I would headbutt things, you know? I love the Tong football stories. I'm very so happy. Okay, yeah. We're having no a fear clash of early. Titans right now. Yeah. Starting off real strong. Really? Here. Wow, in his face. That was a statement. He didn't even care about the he didn't even care about the level up. Raising the sun right there. That's the power of sumo, alright? I like it. We're slowing things down. What what kind of answer is that? Just throw out the headbutt to the spiral arrow? That's our punish, alright? Oh no, it's over. It's over for us. On the boys, pack it up. Uh-oh, in burnout now. But we still have the butt slam. Good old butt slam. Yeah. Never fails. I mean, Honda still has capabilities at Burnout. You still have to respect all their special moves. Did you see that throw yeah, tech? That yeah, was yeah, brave. Yeah. I've never been that brave in my life, bro. Look at these challenges just harassing with the headbutts and with the butt slam. Sun. Even Punk is having a hard time getting the timing down for the perfect parry. 
that big. Very, very big opportunity for Punk to stack on damage and push Honda towards a corner. Ooh, another situation. That was max distance. Very well done from Punk. Look at all of these confirmed, man. All right, Honda boy, it's time to pack it up, guys. Oh, yeah. no, we're still in there. We're still in there. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he sent the Ocho. That's a classic. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you leave them standing with hands, Ocho is definitely always on the table. No. I, I understand going for it again. <laughs> oh, no, but we got too greedy with the drive impact. I mean, even if Punk pressed the button, you were still going to lose there. Yes. You didn't have enough health. Yes, for sure. Sometimes Honda players can get oh, lost in their own man. sauce, okay? Now, I've heard people say that uh, the sun actually makes hands more plus, but I've tested it, and it does not change the block frame. It doesn't change your advantage from what I can see. Okay, it, it only know. It just adds the extra hit on the end so you can extend the combo. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, me and KBR were testing it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's only the buff on him. Ooh. I oh. wish. We tried to drive rush out of dodge there. The plus is not real. Is going to get game number one, and we're straight into the rematch. Plus is not real. Fighting back, saying I made winner's finals for a reason. Trying to get that return trip. I want that run back. Ooh, Punk with a great bait against the Ocho throw. Nicely done. Oh, it looks like the flight is getting canceled, though. Bro, I'm so scared of Punk right now. As a Honda player, I feel the fear. Four plus is not real. Ooh, that jump heavy kick went so far. Wow, that, that uppercut. Yeah, and the anti tires are on point now, but we get the side swap there with the butt slam. <laughs> Ooh. Good corner control. Oh. Plus is not real. Knows that Kami wants to jump out so bad. And again, just chasing down, preventing Punk from jumping at all. The skies belong to Honda. Punk's going to be doing great, but Plus is not real is he's definitely heating up. The reaction. Oh my God. <laughs> no, that's going to be the end. No, no, not enough. Not enough level one. But Plus is not real is in burnout here. <laughs> this is insane! No way! No way. <laughs> Bro, I can feel Punk's frustration oh, right God. now. No. That's literally been every single one of us. Yeah. Every single Street Fighter 6 player has been there. Every Honda fan, every Honda player is hype out of their seat, and everybody that's not a Honda player is mad Bro. as hell. I, I can, I'm reading the tweet right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the Ocho throw is good! And I'm liking and retweeting it because Dude, Punk is right. No way are we seeing this right now. Oh, oh the, the low. And the challenge. Oh my there god. 2-0 two. Two -oh right now for what? plus is not real. Punk is Punk is gonna go be a Valorant player, bro. He said I'm done with Street Fighter. As long as they keep Honda like this. This is crazy. Great, great, perfect parry though. Punishes with the crouching heavy punch. I can't believe I had the nerve to suggest that maybe Plus is not real might be afraid no. going to this matchup. Zero fear, zero respect. Look, shown. look, don't, don't let this fool you. Honda still needs uh, some, some, some buffs, buffs guys. Yeah, you still some think buffs. so, yeah. Look, I almost slipped and said nurse. Almost, <laughs> almost, all right? Look, the, the truth is, <laughs> the truth is, if you lose the Honda, you're just outplayed, right? That yeah. makes sense, that makes sense. Unfortunately, that Punk, or that uh, Plus and I Real had the perfect parry, but was not able to capitalize. Now, finally able to push some separation from the corner, putting Punk into more of these really awkward strings. Oh, it's it's not Honda players' fault that you guys don't have as good neutral as we do, all right? We just, this, we just learned. You call this neutral? Mm, <laughs> mm. Oh, oh no, the stun! That is definitely a dead cami, and Plus is not real, is sitting at set point on the verge of 3 0 -ing Punk. I don't know what to say, man. This is art. Yeah, you know, Punk is one of my favorite players in fighting games. Yes. Well, just any fighting game that he chooses to play, right? It's so entertaining. And I've never felt bad for Punk when he plays, right? He's so dominant most of the yes. time. This is the first time I actually feel bad for Punk. I've never felt this before. I I'm confused. I'm <laughs> conflicted. Do you see the patience here from Plus Is Not Real? Slowing yeah. things down to a crawl to see what Punk is going to do. Look at this drive meter just getting stacked on right now. We're already out. Burnout. Yeah. Every single time you block one of those headbutts. Do you feel like he did that? He he basically allowed himself to get DP'd there so that Punk would get burned out? Yeah, it's a win-win, I think, yeah. for, for Plus. Oh, no, what a great step back, though, to get the super. Still getting caught, going straight into the drive impact. 
Punk. We've seen we've seen Wonder. make we've seen Punk make these kinds of comebacks before at CEO. You know what I mean? So like, and also many other tournaments. Help! Did it look like help! this? Help! Did it look like this, my guy? God, help! Did this it look the, like this, my guy? This is the greatest no, match of dead. all time. There's no way. It's over. Wow, three zero. Here Holy it comes. Smokes. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, on the YouTube video where it says most replay, this is gonna be that That's part, bro. That's one hundred percent the highlight reel of the video. Punk goes out of the tournament in <laughs> losers finals, three zero to plus is not real. Then advance to the grand finals and get the run finals. Back. What's the final evolution of pluses? <laughs> Not real going to be. Grand final set, ladies and gentlemen. The shout out to the plus. Okay. All right. Already being very aggressive to start things off. Straight wow. to the dry brush command grab. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, you're right, though. The play style is a little bit different. He already played JP before, like you said. You know, every opponent, every matchup is a little bit different. Yo. Yo. And JP has shown that he knows what to do against this hunt. Yes. All right. Looking there very go. prepared. JB kind of giving plus the same treatment plus gave Punk earlier, right? That's Bully. what it feels like. Bully. People are man, people are mad in the chat about some punk. <laughs> <laughs> After that last match, you got some people that are mad excited. You got some people that are just upset, uninstalling the game right now. Yo, chat, just That's take right. Honda. If you can't beat him, join him. That's right. Five lights, baby. Make your own combos up. You know what I mean? <laughs> what is just <laughs> what was that? Four headbutts in a <laughs> row just to chip out? Yeah, bro, call me a glue eater, baby. I'm putting that stuff on my salad tonight, all right? <laughs> That's low fat. That's better than the ranch dressing I got. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, throws out, uh, or, excuse me, gets thrown out of the Ochio or the Slam. I'm not really sure what it was. But there's the reaction with the drive impact. We just go for another drive impact here to put Plus Is Not Real into burnout. Plus Is Not Real is definitely paying the price there for uh, with those throw attempts. Yo, Psycho, I Psycho, coming through with the 10 gift subs. Thank you so much for the love and support, homie. 10 big ones. Make sure, to, make sure to give a si uh, shout out to I Psycho uh, if you got a sub coming. Thank you. Yeah, you're Psycho, all right, Tong. You oh. and all these Tonda players out here. Bro, I'm Psycho for Plus Is Not Real, bro. I'm, look, I'm telling you right now, look, don't look for unbiased commentator for me. You guys already know I'm about, <laughs> I'm about this Honda stuff, baby. It's cool. It's honestly cool to see. I mean, bro, the EX reversal, though, off of that? Yeah. Okay, that was kind of smart. Yeah, challenging that overhead. We are matching that out for any kind of a gap. And what is the neutral, baby? I'm that's right, this. baby. That's, that's right. That's Look, nooch. We're, we're ahead in health, or we were. Oh, no. I'm telling you, he, sometimes you just have to take the throw, right? They tell you all the time in Street Fighter, take the throw sometimes. And he's so afraid of the regular throw that he has gotten punished so many times for it. Mm, not ready for the drive impact in the corner. JB's going to go right into the level three. We should have a follow-up opportunity after this. Wondering if it will be enough. I don't think so. Nah, not with all that scaling because it was the uh, block drive impact there. Yeah, but still able to get it with the light normals, though. Checking plus is not real, and JB is going to go up game one here in our grand finals. Somebody said this Honda is like a silver gold Honda, but with reeds. That's what all Hondas are, bro. <laughs> We're just guessing. You're just guessing wrong. It's like when Slowbro puts the shell on his tail, and that's all that changes, and he grows up into another evolution. Absolutely. Here we go, hands into the EX slam. Yo, okay, JB paying attention, drive rushes out, but plus it's not real, Keen just chase him down and I'm, I'm cool with this actually, I'm cool. Let's just keep at it, burn oh. out on JB. That was good. And there's the drive impact, ah. and just a standing of the woo! I love the strategy here, plus it's not real, does not care. He's weighed the odds, he said it's more important to burn you out than for me to get the hit. And then he got both. Yeah, giving people fits, man. Yeah. I have never seen the chat so divided before. Yeah, 100%. They are so upset. Honestly, politics is less divided than this, <laughs> so I'll tell you. Pineapple on pizza is less divisive. <laughs> oh my god, and just throwing out the drive impact. Plus is not real, channeling the power of all the silver players out there. Perfect to tie it up, one to one. Look, this Bruh. guy is my hero, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's definitely caping, 100%. But, look, I got this Cajun-flavored glue, all right? <laughs> it's tasty as fuck. Oh, sorry, can't use that word. <laughs> hey, PG-13, you get one. I get one. YouTube does not like it. 
not real. What? Just doing Look the close, not real things. Just jumping heavy kicks. We are confusing our opponents right now. That's right. Confusion is very effective. Oh, Ooh. my God, baby. Okay, I, I've never seen that in Silver Ring. <laughs> oh, this is looking, looking kind of free. JB, wake up. Fight back. Now stop okay. fighting back. I, I need a reset. <laughs> JB able to get three drinks on there. Nice shimmy getting the low, but we could have gotten more off of it. Instead, we want to reset into a command grab situation wow. again. Wow. This is like a statement, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. JB definitely making a forward plus is not real in this round. Yo. It's okay, though. Oh, oh, let's go. I mean, I'm you sorry. This is not real as a genius. Oh my a genius. God, Who is the no. fool? JB, Who you should have killed fool? when you had the Who chance. Who is the fool? <laughs> I feel like at this point, I don't want to say anything. I just oh, I'm off the right. I'm in the roller coaster. Just Honda take the wheel. Absolutely. Like I said, you don't need footsies when you've got buttsies, all right? Also, guys, if you are enjoying this content, uh, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube to hit the subscribe button. Helps us out a lot. Love that. Gotta, gotta remember that. <laughs> Okay, JB's ahead in another round, trying to take this back. Nice Annie air, plus it's not real soul. He just does it again, he does not care. I appreciate you trying to bring, like, you know, solid I'm ground trying. level commentary it's to for what me. we are seeing. It's here. for me, I need this. The brain needs a narrative to understand, you know what I'm saying? I can't just live in this chaos. This is why you can't beat Hondas like this, bro, because you're trying to make sense of it. Trying to make sense of it is not the solution. All right, but here is the level three coming out from JB. Be able to get firm off of this and goes Yo. for the setup. Wake up. Yep. All right, knockdown. This is great for JB harassing with that heavy punch as well. Look at this. You're stuck in the infinite. Noxious is all hell. JB is going to close out a game, moving up two to one over plus is not real, which felt like a fever dream. Wow. What a, what a chat poll. And Zen coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. I couldn't see how many months it was for. Chat is moving lightning fast. Yeah, Almost yeah, two thank years. Thank you so much for the support. Nah, no free drinks. No free drinks at the, uh, the Honda pub, my friend. Yes, sir. We drink sake only around here, all right? But it's a dangerous situation. <laughs> wow, what an interaction. <laughs> Tried to do something there. I don't know what it was. JB was ready. Getting caught pressing buttons again, but just headbutt right on in. Look, I've been married twice, and this is still the why, best day of my what life. Are we, right? <laughs> why are we whipping command grabs full screen? Don't what know. is happening? Don't know. Is this just, is the game plan to try and tilt JB? I think, I think literally yes. I mean, look at the name. The guy's name is literally plus not really. He's definitely coming in with Yomi from the from the character select screen. This is a 500-man bracket with some of the best Street Fighter players in North America. And Honda. Heck yeah. Punk, <laughs> by the way, guys, Punk just tweeted, by the way. My homie just tweeted, I lost to the worst Honda player ever after a long loser's run. Definitely my fault for having zero idea how to stop Tumor Slam. At least he knew it was a matchup thing. Nugget of right? honesty But in he, he called him the worst Honda player of all time. Look, there's, there's, not a, there's not a huge difference between the worst Honda of all time and the best Honda of all time. All right? I'm getting tired laughing at this oh, my point. Face hurts. It's seriously in pain. It's like it's like a small caliber gun and a big caliber gun. You know, they both shoot They're guns. All right? Yeah. All right, there's the perfect parry. Are we going to see this straight into the level three? Yes, we do. Dude, remember that is at least 50% damage on the scaling. So I think with the follow up here, drive rush, is it enough to close it out? So close. No. no oh, way. yes. Oh, I was going to say, I got so hyped, I almost jumped out of my chair, guys. He could have right. died from that. Well, 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 Stacy, because this is tournament point now for JB. This might be the end of Plus Not Real's run. God, I hope not. It's looking like it, though. <laughs> it's going to live on forever in Tom's dreams, that's for know, sure. right? Hey. Oh, we tried to be ready for it. JB still got slammed out of the sky. We're mixing in this throw, though, of that strike throw game. There's another perfect parry. But look at the reward you get from perfect parry, right? Yeah. It scales so hard that, oh, he's drinking. He is drinking. 
It scales so hard that Tom is not too worried about taking that damage. Well, the problem is you get put into the corner. So that's the biggest loss of the situation for sure. Plus, it's not real. Gonna have to make his own separation. I love using the drive rush to build space. No way. Oh, what a challenge, though. Papa Cap coming through with the sub. Thank you so much. Yeah, not yeah, sure what it. the decision making was there after the drive rush, but the oh drive rush and combo drop and the super is dropped. No, 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 no. That's oh, a oh the reversal. It's not no, a no. That's to... not how you punish it. Jamie that wasn't a level three. Well, <laughs> that you know, it, it's fitting that it ended that way. It's fitting that it ended that way. I'm not gonna lie, that was fitting. That was I feel, fitting. I feel like I got assaulted <laughs> watching that set. <laughs>